Hello, I'm Amanda Shotton and I'm Curriculum Leader of Art and Design at QE. Um, I want to talk to you about the Year 9 options, um, so GCSE options offered within the Art Department. So I just want to outline um, what the students actually do. So um, in the rollover, when they start with us at the back end of Year 9, so it starts officially of Year 10, in June, they will start skills building units and that's in all areas, so that's within graphics and within the art um, and textiles course. That unit will be the supporting unit to put progressionally onto more thematic units of work. It's a great opportunity to draw more, um, we do printing, we do all sorts of mixed media based work, introduction to artists, um, we work in smaller sketchbooks uh, so that they can work at a, f a faster pace and students really, really enjoy that. Um, graphics learn to uh, build skills uh, with Photoshop, um, Lightroom, Illustrator uh, and they work really hard with their, their digital skills uh, but Mr Pym is going to talk to you a little bit more about that. We offer a fashion and textiles stroke fine art course, so that's a blended um, discipline which involves lots of mixed media based work. The students, it's the first year of actually doing it this year, so our current year 10s are on that project and I will be showing you some exemplar um, books from that unit. Uh, they're really enjoying it, it's a really lively and expressive unit of work which is skills building um, and, and then that leads on to a, a more detailed project at a later stage. It's a really successful, vibrant department uh, where students tend to want to be. So our students are in every classroom, all lunchtime, um, every day of the week, and it's really, really exciting. Uh, we also have an art club after school, which again, you know, your son or daughter might have experienced so far on a Wednesday night. And again, that's an opportunity to get additional help from teachers and uh, just work on homework or coursework or whatever they want to do. Um, we do have high expectations in the art department. Students want to spend additional time um, outside of lessons and develop their skills and understanding, um, but nine times out of ten they want to be in the department because it is such a, a great department to be in. Um, we have a great track record for results. Um, students tend to do really well with us. Um, and uh, you know that leads on to progressionally onto A level really successfully. Graphic design then leads on to a graphic design A level, uh, but we also offer a fine art A level and then progressionally a, a, a photography A level. So unfortunately, it's not a textiles A level, but we do adapt the fine art A level to suit the textile interest. So I'm uh, William Pym, I'm one of the graphics teachers and I'm here to talk to you about what's specific about graphics. Graphics is one of our two options uh, that the students can take. Uh, graphics will follow the same structure that Ms Shotton's already explained to you. But what's unique about what we do, well we teach uh, graphics in these fantastic digital suites, I'm, I'm speaking to you from one now, where there are computers for every student to work at, uh, display screens and also an art room where they can use uh, physical art material as well. So they may end up, and um, we're looking at A-level work here, but we may end up with work that's quite abstract, looking at the typography and the design uh, for creating posters. On the left-hand side they might use more fine art skills. This is not actually a painting, it's actually a digital painting. A key part of our course is learning to use the tools on Photoshop to create paint effects. Uh, so we cover a range of graphics, illustration and branding, uh, and uh, the students develop uh, final pieces that reflect their own ideas for Unit 1 and an exam for Unit 2. So as the 